Hi guys and welcome back to some more The Crew here on my channel. This is KPG Guna here and in today's episode we're going to be doing another car testing. Now you've loved some of the other car testings I've done previously and this one today is going to be in the Celine S7R. Now this car is crazy fast in a straight line but we're not sure what the handling is going to be like and we're going to be we're going to be turning this into a circuit version. Now I did have this in Perth version first of all and I just didn't like it so We've, we're going to do the the uh, circuit version in the, today's episode because I haven't got many circuit cars anyway and we're going to test this out in a fraction mission. We're not going to add anything to it and um, we haven't got enough credits to spend on it anyway. We're going to just take it out into one of the fraction missions, a really tough one and just see what the handling's like. We know it's crazy top end speed but we don't know what it handles like. Now we're going to be using the uh, Frostmaster T300 RS again on the crew so this is going to be really really interesting i'm looking forward to this so we're going to jump into a fraction mission and test this thing out this is going to be absolutely crazy i hope you enjoy the video if you do please hit that like button and subscribe also let me know if there's any other vehicles that you really want to see tested out in this game there's plenty of new vehicles added on the recent uh update and i know there's a um Mazda RX-7 which I really really want to get hold of and do some drifting in but we may do that in a later video but let's get straight into this one and test this car out. Right, so here we go with the car testing in the Celine S7R. Now we know this car is going to be good in a straight line, but what's it going to be like around these windy roads? And this one, this um, race, fraction mission is really tough because there's so much oncoming traffic and traffic that you have to weave through. So I'm going to have to be really careful, try not to bash into anything and just try and win the race. Now we're not the highest level in the game because we're starting from standard. Oh God, loads of crashing already. Let's go around the side. Oh. Well, that was not a bad tactic. Bloody hell. Absolute carnage straight, straight at the start of the race. Let's try and take advantage of that and try and keep a lead. Right, let's see what it's like around the corners. Not too bad. Let's try and avoid all the uh, traffic on the road as well. It's slightly wet. It's not raining. But we've gone for this view again. I find this the easiest one to use with the steering wheel. And uh, also, guys, like I said, um, if you watch my um, thank you subscriber, 2000 subscriber video, I'm going to start doing some wheel cam as well on these games. So you can see uh, me struggle on the wheel um, in the corner of the screen. It, it'll be a laugh. You can just laugh at me as I totally fail at some of these races. But this hasn't been a bad start so far. We're just over a second ahead. And uh, we've got three laps on this uh, fraction mission. So this is going to be a really tough one to keep the lead. And they're, ca they're gaining on me. Now, this car isn't the fastest around the corners, as I can already see. But we're going to use its superior speed on the straights. That's what I've got to do. So as soon as we get a straight, we're going to use the boost and try. And that's where I want to get uh, gain as much time as we can in front of these other cars. So there we go. I think this one, this car standard does nearly 240 miles an hour. Let's see if we can get that. There's not many long straights on this uh, circuit, I don't think. But we should be able to get over 200 miles an hour. Yeah, almost 210 there. Oh God, that corner was tough. Right, we're coming to the end of the first lap. And I can't believe it. I've managed to hold on to that first position. And we've got about a three and a half second lead. Now, um, I've done this race a couple of times uh, in other vehicles and it's been such a challenge and so, so, most of the time I only win it right at the end if I do win it at all. But this car's not, it's a little bit, uh, it's a little bit, bit of a brick around the corners. It doesn't go into the corners that well. A, I'm really just trying to take it easy around the corners. It's not uh, the best handling as I've, I've already discovered, but uh, that's just use its attribute of its fast straight line speed. There's a section coming up in a minute that I can just really boost and get to my top end speed if I can. Right now, that's boost. See how fast we can get down this straight. Oh God, car's coming up. I'm going to have to be careful. Try and weave around this corner. Oh, almost 220 miles an hour there. And we're still in the lead. This is unbelievable. I was expecting it to be a little bit more of a challenge. 
oh god it's just really tough to take around the corners you really have to slow down so um, but that could be something that can be improved with upgrades i'm not saying that uh, this car is not uh, going to be completely useless around the corners i think uh, if you spent a bit of money on the upgrades it may be better i don't know but it's definitely still got the straight line speed uh whether it's standard or not but uh, this has been a good uh, fraction mission so far let's see if we can end the second lap in first god i'm being caught up this is a, this is going to be a challenge this corner i've got to get around this corner That's, ah bugger Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. <laughs> oh my god <laughs> he went around the side of me smashed into the van oh luckily i just avoided him and we have still kept the lead oh my god that was absolutely close and I haven't really smashed into anything just yet. Let's see if we can get a clean run here. I've I don't usually do that. That's very rare. So I'm gonna. I'm just not gonna com complain too much so far. We haven't smashed into anything. Oh, we've still got that three-second lead. But I'm pretty sure uh, that they're going to start catching me up towards the end of the race. The AI on this game can be an absolute nightmare. They seem to come from nowhere. They don't seem to be faced by smashing into things and crashing. They still seem to maintain a decent speed, which is really annoying. Because when you crash out, it pretty much ruins the race. But we're halfway through this last lap and we still got to over a two second lead. Can we bring this home in this first run out in this Celine S7R? Now I'm telling you guys, this car isn't too bad. It's not as good as maybe the Ferrari and the McLaren handling wise but speed wise it's not too bad and some people prefer to have speed rather than handling it depends I mean doing it with the uh, steering wheel it doesn't seem too bad but uh, with a controller this this car could be an absolute nightmare I might have to uh, have a go with the uh, st just with the controller and see what the difference is but uh, so far we've got what just over a second seven second lead i think we can bring this home now if we don't make any mistakes i can't believe this is this is the first time i've actually done this event uh, and been without actually smashing into too many things right last corner i think we've done it boost yes and we're gonna win it unbelievable now, rating-wise, guys, speed, I'd give this a definite 10 out of 10. It's very, very quick. Acceleration isn't the best, but like, like I said, that, that if you spend a bit of money on that, it'll be fine. Handling, I'd give it maybe a 5 out of 10. But uh, overall, it's not a bad car. I definitely would um, rate this one in a circuit version, not in a perf version, definitely in a circuit version. I hope you enjoyed this video. And again, please hit that like button, subscribe, and I will see you soon for some more car testing here on the crew on my channel. Thank you very much for watching, and bye-bye.